Harbour Festival that we've done here in Annan and we've got a wonderful day it's a bit breezy but the sun is shining and it's clear so we've got lots and lots of people come here today to see the activity on the water then the stalls and the music it's a big community event uh, a lot of people are giving their time free today and so many people here today to enjoy it well what we want to do is promote this harbour as a place where local people can come. It's a very important part of Annan's history so we want to make it a place that people in Annan can be proud of. Uh, we have done some improvements to the harbour, we've, we've uh, re-established re the slipway so boats can get into the water so we want to do more to encourage boats to come here. Uh, the harbour needs dredged, we're at the moment raising lots of money to do that and that's what we're part of the process proceeds today will go towards that. This is the first time that Scottish Coastal Rowing have run a competition on the Solway. It's going from Annan over to Bowness on the English side where we're going to do a raid on England and come back carrying, uh, carrying a bell that was stolen, really commemorating something from 1626 when bells were stolen between the, between the two coasts. It's going to be a great, a great and exciting event. Lots of people here today to see it. Well, the bells will go back several hundred years, the days of the, the reavers, border reavers, and crossing as a reaver was easy to cross the Solway rather than there was no roads worthwhile. The story goes that the people from Dornock in the area, Annan possibly, went across to Bowness, and the only worthwhile thing in Bowness was the church bell. It was significant. It was a, a symbol of Bowness and they stole the bell from Bowness Church. Now on the way back, whether they were on a boat or whether they were on horseback or whether they were wading, I don't know. But they had a problem with the weight of the bell and it was abandoned in the Solway. The tide came in, of course the bell disappeared, sanded up. Now, the bell pool, that's what it's called in the Solway, when I was a boy, was, I was told at certain stages of the tide, you could hear the bell tolling under the water. Uh, I don't really believe that, but it's a good story. Now, it's quite interesting that the people from Bowness were rather annoyed. They wanted the bell back, and they came across, and uh, they lifted that stool, they lifted the bell from Dornock Church and from Middleby Church. A long way inland to Middleby, mind you, as reavers, but the, but the both bells were stolen or lifted and taken back to Bowness. And today they were used in Bowness Church for many years. They were replaced about a hundred years ago with modern bells, but the Dornock bell and the <laughs> The bell from Middleby are still in Bonas Church. They're bolted to the floor so that there's no chance of lifting them. And uh, the only time they've come back to Annan was back in the 50s and 60s for an exhibition. And they had, the bells had to be insured for safe return with Lloyds because people were still worried about them being retrieved. Now it's said it's say that Every time there's a new parson in the Bowness Church, he's asked if he'll return the bells. And of course, he politely says no, unless you can give us our bell back. 
The reason we do the Harbour Festival is to demonstrate what an asset the harbour is for the town. And bringing boats back into the town is going to be good for the economy, it's going to be, but it's going to be a wonderful leisure space as well. So what we need to do is to dig out about a metre of silt in the Harbour Channel, and that takes money. So we're, we're launching a crowdfunding appeal at the moment to try to get people to, na to donate from £6 uh, to, to support that work. We've had money from the Fisheries Local Action Group, that's EU money, and uh, that's 22500 and we need 40000 Well, we're trying to resurrect Annan Harbour to return it to its former glory and unless you can get people interested in the sea and rowing and seamanship and that sort of thing then it's really a pointless exercise so this is this today is very important to let people see what can happen in a busy harbour. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.